Darren Butler, it's got it! Surprise, surprise! His first goal for his country. And of course, that Bafana Bafana goal was against Chad in a uh, an Akon qualifier. That was your first Bafana Bafana goal. Surprise, welcome to the show. That must have very good memories. I mean, I know uh, every time a footballer has scored for the nation, it means a lot more than scoring just for your club, right? Yes, no, definitely. Uh, thanks uh, for inviting me. Uh, those were really good moments for me, especially scoring a first goal for national team. It was it was a great moment. And then that goal against Bitvis Vitz, tell me about that. Yeah, it was it was a good good corner kick from 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 Lebuha Mukwena, and I just nodded it in, which uh, I, I remember the game. We won the game two 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 nil, I think. Now the reason we decided to have you here today is because you made one of the very few big moves that players get to make in the PSL, you know? Uh, you've been with, you, you had been with Mamelodi Sundown since 2004. That's over a decade with one club. I mean, I'm looking at your stats. You have 115 appearances for Mamelodi Sundowns and 39 goals that you scored. One doesn't just walk away from that. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to say the man. Uh, because uh, I just thought maybe uh, I must just go across and make sure no because uh, I remember I was busy with uh, with my coaching courses. So I'm in a transition now. Mm -hmm. So between playing and, 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 and living football. So I'm just preparing myself. So I just thought while doing that, I must just go across and, and maybe continue playing. I know that, uh, yeah. uh, so was that part of the influence, or uh, Lions of the North, they might be <laughs> next to, next door, Mara. It still feels a bit like home. As long as only North, yeah. Uh, I just, I'm feeling home. I'm feeling at home there. But uh, look, if it isn't going in Chigilego Sundowns, mm. And uh, I was happy there. And I had the best moment of my life, especially football-wise. So yes. it will always be home. So it will always be home. And <coughs> working with Gordon Iggerson, I know that the team is not doing that well at the moment. How is the team keeping motivated? Because sitting 15th on the log can't be a good feeling. Yeah, no, uh, it's not a good feeling. And where we are, we, we, every day, we, that's what we're thinking about. Because mm. we really want to move away from, from the bottom and make sure that uh, we save the team from relegation. That's our main, main priority. And working with Gordon, obviously, second time around, and he's a good coach and we've got a re good relationship, but the bottom line is about uh, Highlands Park. Yeah. We have to make sure that uh, we keep the team in the premiership. Keeping the team in the premiership, your, I think it was your second game with uh, Highlands Park where you played against your former team, Mamilari <laughs> Sanders. You guys were beaten 5 0, but still, it must have been a, quite an interesting feeling against the team in Spendile almost over 10 years. Yeah, it was emotional. Remember, Motinasana uh, Hanoro, <coughs> one day maybe Utla, 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 Tuha, I live up somewhere else uh, because I thought maybe I will end up playing Go, go Sundowns. But mm. In life, never say never, because uh, you will never know what will happen. So that's why uh, first, uh, second game of, of the season, uh, we went and played against Sundowns, and yeah. we, 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 got, we got a hiding. It yeah. was an emotional, emotional game for me, because looking on the, uh, w sitting on the other side and playing against Sundowns, it was, it was, it was, it was not normal for me. But yeah. what can you do? It's you true. just what have to cope. What <laughs> can you do? But also, in all honesty, one then looks back and says, when you saw them lift the African Champions Trophy and knowing that you could have been in that team, how did that feel? No, it, uh, I, I was happy for the team. Firstly, I was happy for the team because I knew the ambitions of the team. Because uh, since I, I joined the team, the ambition, the ambition of the president was to uh, make Sundowns become the one of the best uh, club in the continent. Yeah. So when I saw that happening, I was I was really I was really much uh, happy for the yeah. team and the president himself. So I was not feeling like left out, but because I know it was a process that we 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 we, we built, and uh, of course, uh, I might not be the one who finished the job, but uh, somewhere somehow I gave a helping hand, which made me very very happy. Surprise. 
thank you so much for coming through. But uh, we're going to take a, a quick ad break. He is literally one of only one, two, three, four, five, six PSL players who are over the age of 35 who are still playing their trade. He says he's not looking to retire anytime soon, even though he has mentioned the fact that he's already in the process of getting into becoming a coach.